So that was the IT minister, Ashwini Vaishnav, speaking about the dangers of uh, AI-influenced technology, especially uh, deep fakes. Remember, the Prime Minister also spoke about this uh, last Friday, saying that AI-influenced digital media, especially deep fakes, have the uh, capacity to uh, send out misleading information, um, you know, harm reputations. He also spoke about this in the virtual G20 summit yesterday, asking for global coordinated action uh, against the dangers of AI-influenced digital media. Today, the IT Minister has said that uh, the government is looking at ways to work on a new law along with IT companies and uh, this will be for the prevention, detection, identification of uh, deep fakes and also to spread the, uh, the distribution and the spread of deep fakes and also strengthen reporting mechanisms. Uh, I have NS Napine, founder of uh, Cyber Sathi Foundation and also a lawyer in the Supreme Court joining me. Uh, Ma'am, tell us uh, what do you think of the minister's press conference? He is clearly saying that existing laws might not be enough and uh, you know, in about 10 days from now, uh, the companies along with uh, the government could be looking at formulating detailed guidelines on detection and also identifying uh, the spread of deep fakes and strengthening reporting mechanisms. Um, yeah, indeed, this was a press conference which was very critical. And I think some very important points have been raised by the minister. Now, the first and foremost, in terms of what he spoke about, is the relevance of uh, or the need for social media platforms to take a stronger stand and to be uh, actively involved in finding solutions. The next aspect which I thought I should highlight is with respect to the role of law enforcement. So that we've been talking about this issue for a few days and in fact we had a session yesterday on this and I had pointed out the need for laws to catch up but until such time we have to continue to use existing laws and legal frameworks. So on that aspect, today's uh, uh, press conference, I think, is very critical in terms of not only uh, red flagging this issue, but also for the purpose of initiating immediate action by using existing legal frameworks. Ms. Napine, there is this thing about, uh, you know, going beyond just labeling and watermarks. Uh, you know, Minister also said that there needs to be mechanism on verification, right? So there's a need to go beyond watermarks, which is what companies have already suggested apparently in the meeting. That's what he said. So, uh, and this verification, the lack of verification is something that the Prime Minister also spoke about, clearly saying that a large section of people in the country do not have resources to even verify if uh, a certain uh, sort of post is uh, AI influenced or not. How how important do you think that aspect is? Again, something that I have been batting for throughout, which is that one, when you say verify, I would just put it this way that as and when somebody creates a fabricated uh, document, or should I say just using technology to put it more mildly, then a certificate or a statement to that effect very clearly setting out that this is a modified or a fabricated document is essential. So it's not about stifling free speech. So if you want to create satire or parody, etc., so be it. But then say it, that it is so, so that people are not misled. On the flip side, we discussed yesterday about the possibility of uh, genuine uh, uh, content then being passed off as fake news or fake content which is not certified being assumed to be genuine merely because it doesn't have a certificate. And that's a very critical point that was highlighted in our discussion yesterday. So my uh, input on those two aspects would be, one, verification is only a first step uh, process which the creator of that content and the person who is uploading is uh, expected to comply with. Independent of that, social media platforms or other content hosting platforms will have to use AI for the purpose of identifying deep fakes and other such modified content. Right. Finally, the way law would have to function is as a deterrent, which is that when you put up a fake news or a, a deep fake without the certificate, it has to carry sufficient uh, penal provisions, which will act as the deterrent. Right. And examples which law enforcement would set by actually implementing those provisions 
by apprehending those criminals and bringing them to book will again further strengthen deterrence. These are all in the long term. Immediately, what is it that social media platforms can do? As and when something is flagged as a deep fake, take it down or action it. Because, you know, we again spoke about how even good content can be casually uh, mentioned as a deep fake and then that will amount to stifling of free speech. So we are in the post-COVID time and we are all familiar with the word quarantine. So this has again been something that I have been batting for, which is to say that if something is flagged as deep fake, let the social media platform quarantine it, keep it aside and not have it available for uh, easy uh, public dissemination. Let there be a process which could be for 24 hours, 36 hours, it doesn't matter. Right. Whatever time it is needed for confirming the authenticity of that content and then it can be re-uploaded uh, for uh, public right. dissemination. Right. If it is allowed to be uh, continued until and unless it's proven, then the damage is done and it cannot be undone. Right. And therefore, you know, we need to start looking at it more in terms of a victim-centric uh, right. solution or process and see how we can find alternatives which will still help free speech but without it being at the cost of victims. Right. Thank you, Ms. Napinay, for joining us on this discussion, making it very clear that compliance is important and also uh, the need to check the spread of uh, deep fakes. The government has clarified that it could be bringing out a law or at least a set of rules soon along with uh, social media companies to check the spread of AI-influenced digital media.